welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of aiming high. So often we aim low because aiming low feels more comfortable. If we aim low, we never have to worry about failing, right? Wrong. Aiming low leads to more frustration, poor self-esteem, and not feeling we're adequate or living to our full potential over time. Living your full potential is what gives our lives meaning and makes us feel happy and accomplished. This is why we should aim high in every area of our lives, from career, relationships, and the standards we have for ourselves and others. Aiming high leads us closer to where we want to be in a shorter amount of time because you are positioning yourself for success by matching your beliefs with your actions. Life is short and we only have one life to live, so it's essential we live life to the fullest without putting self-imposed limits on ourselves and what we can accomplish. The sky's the limit. As Oscar Wilde quotes, shoot for the moon and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Stay tuned, coming up after the break, so fast forward today, Cobra Kai, it's a huge show on Netflix. Everyone's talking about it. You're a fan favorite. So let's talk a little bit about the premise of the show for those of our viewers that don't know about it. Sure, so Cobra Kai is a continuation of the original Karate Kid movies. Um, they follow the storyline of the original characters, Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso as adults now, kind of modern time. And then on top of that, they're introducing a new generation of kids and kind of their relationship to karate. And um, you see how their storylines intertwine and it's it's really cool. I, I really enjoyed being a part of the show. Next up on the show, we have actress Hannah Keppel, best known for her role as Moon on the Netflix series titled Cobra Kai. Hannah, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure having you. We're so excited to have you on the show today. So let's talk a little bit about how your love for acting began. Sure. So, I mean, I've always been kind of a performative little kid. I, I was very um, outgoing and I, I would force my siblings to dress up and do plays with me as a kid. Um, and then my mom signed me up for a musical theater class um, when I was 10. It was Annie. We did Annie Jr. And since then, I just kind of fell in love with acting. I started out with musical theater and then I started with film um, in high school. Mm -hmm. And what were your first moves, you know, to launch your career and get you to the next level? Sure. So I don't think I, I really realized that the film industry could become a career at any age. Mm. Um, as a kid, I just kind of thought it was just something you could do as an adult. And then when I booked my first show, which was Cobra Kai, I was like, wow, I, I can have a career now. I, I don't have to wait. Um, and I think kind of the, the first big step that I took was um, really securing a team around me of people um, to help me in this industry with my agents and my manager, Mark, who's amazing. Um, and they've just been super supportive and, and really encouraging um, and, and really great with guiding me with the next steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think it's really important to be surrounded by a good team. I always say teamwork makes the dream work. So yes. <laughs> it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely true to be surrounded by good people. You talked about musical theater and your love for it. So what, what do you love about musical theater and how do you think it's prepared you to become an actress? Sure, yeah, I, I feel like I mean, I, I love film now, and it's definitely what I want to do. But but musical theater, there's just it, there's something different about being in front of a live audience and getting that immediate feedback, mm -hmm. um, and and evoking emotion and and feeling automatically when they're laughing and, and people are crying, and you just you feel that in the room, and it's just it's something so special about that. And um, even as a kid. I, I just remember loving it, being up on stage and connecting with people um, in person. And I've always loved to sing. Um, and and there's just something just really fun about singing as a character and, and bringing to life some of these songs. And yeah, I'll always love musical theater. Mm -hmm. I feel like for musical theater, you have to have a lot of personality and not be shy at all. So were you ever shy <laughs> growing up or, was, or were you always outgoing and... Um, 
out there. <laughs> yeah, so I actually, I, I was super outgoing and performative as a, as a young kid, but I think with uh, middle school and puberty and, and when you're kind of coming into your body and who you are, I, I definitely kind of became more of a shy person, a bit more reserved. And I think that was a big reason why my mom um, got me started in musical theater to try and kind of get me out of my shell and, and be a bit more expressive. Mm -hmm. And so I, I will always, I mean, I'll always be so grateful for my time starting out in musical theater because I think it really did open me up um, to connecting with people my age, to connecting with the audience. And it was a great form of expression for me to kind of put an outlet to all of my emotions for sure. Mm -hmm. I love the, that, like different experiences, whether it's, you know, musical theater and trying something different. For me, it was my parents put me into pageants and that really got me out of my shell. And, you know, fast forward today, um, maybe if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be as outgoing. So I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. So fast forward today, Cobra Kai, it's a huge show on Netflix. Everyone's talking about it. You're a fan favorite. So let's talk a little bit about the premise of the show for those of our viewers that don't know about it. Sure, so Cobra Kai is a continuation of the original Karate Kid movies. Um, they follow the storyline of the original characters, Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso as adults now, kind of modern time. And then on top of that, they're introducing a new generation of kids and kind of their relationship to karate. And um, you see how their storylines intertwine and it's it's really cool. I, I really enjoyed being a part of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's talk about your character, Moon. Who is she and what are some obstacles that she faces? Sure, so Moon has definitely changed a lot throughout the series. Um, she kind of started out as like, the mean girl sidekick kind of just piggybacking on on a little bit of the bullying and then she eventually kind of comes into her own and she stands up for what she believes in um she's very much against the violence and kind of the drama that comes with the karate um she's kind of a very fun loving girl she's a hippie at heart and she just wants everybody to get along mm -hmm. and what was your favorite part of playing moon and did you see any similarities in your own personality playing her Sure. I I mean, she's so fun to play because I think she's just such a very like calm and, and relaxed and just fun loving person that she just and I, I love how she honestly, you never know who she's going to be in a scene with because she kind of just gets along with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and in regards to similarities, I think that we we're both an advocate for, for people to kind of put aside their differences and, and get along. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's important for people to facilitate conversations about things they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I think Moon feels the same way. Yeah. And how has your experience been on the show? Because it's been such a hit and I feel like it's launched a lot of people's careers. So how has your life kind of changed since you've done the show? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I started Cobra Kai when I was 16 and, and now I'm 20. So I've kind of grown up doing it and yeah. we started out on YouTube and that was amazing. And then with the move to Netflix, it's just, it's been crazy. I mean, I could have never expected it. Um, I'm so fortunate for the opportunities that have come because of it. And I mean, we knew going into it that it was going to be special. And I love the cast and crew that are involved with the show. Everybody is so nice and genuine and I mean, it's it's been amazing and I'm so glad that the original fans love it and now we also have this kind of new generation of fans. Um, the kids that get to watch it with their parents who love the original movies, it's, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect from this season of Cobra Kai? This new season mm -hmm. or the season three? Okay, so season three, season... both, everything. <laughs> okay, season three, that one came out not too long ago. Um, I think it's really cool because it really explores some different sides to some of these characters that you love. You kind of get to see a darker side. Um, and I mean, of course, the drama's heightened. The fights are even more badass. And this new season, I can't talk about yet, but definitely be on the lookout for news about it because it's, it's going to be even bigger and better. Oh, I'm excited for it. <laughs> so let's talk about your current projects. What are you currently working on? Sure, so I, um, I'm about to film something in Atlanta that I can't talk about, and I just filmed something in Atlanta oh, okay, I can't nice. quite talk about mm -hmm. yet. Um, so 
definitely some fun things in the future that I'll eventually be able to talk about. But I do have a show coming out that I, I was a part of called Tell Me Your Secrets mm -hmm. that comes out on Amazon Prime um, February 19th, I believe. And it is going to be amazing. It's kind of more of a suspense thriller type of uh, TV series, and it'll definitely keep you on the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, you know, because our show is all about inspiration and inspiring people to follow their dreams and, you know, take their careers to the next level. So what are some of the obstacles that you faced along the way um, becoming an actress or maybe some doubts you've had? And how did you get through that? Yeah, of course. I think um, if, if anybody's trying to get into this industry or anybody that's been in this industry, you know that you will hear a lot of no's more so than yeses. Um, and that's just kind of part of the game. And it, it can be really frustrating, but I think you just always have to remember that we each bring our own individual and unique perceptions of the scripts and, and our ideas of who these people should be. And it really just takes the, the right opportunity and um, you gotta keep going. You gotta just believe in yourself. And, and the biggest thing is you gotta keep working hard and growing not stay stagnant in um, your abilities and I feel like as long as you work hard and you're persistent with it it just takes the right opportunity to come along yeah I completely agree and I have to say that you seem very authentic down to earth it's, it's so nice to see and refreshing to see um, especially because you started at such a young age acting um, what do you think there are three things if there are three things that made you successful in this industry what would you say they were Okay, three things. <laughs> yes, of course, let's see. Um, three things that have made me successful. One, I would say that I, I really try to work hard, um, do my research, take my time, um, continue to learn and grow. Um, I think also the people, like going back to what I said, the people that I surround myself with have really made me successful. I'm very lucky with the family that I have. And then also this team of people that I've kind of surrounded myself with. And the third one, I mean, I would say my, my kind of optimism. I, I really try and, and believe that everything happens for a reason. Um, you kind of just got to continue to believe in yourself and, and believe in, in your opportunities around you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'd say maybe, maybe those three things. I think that's great, especially optimism, because sometimes it gets hard, you know, you get discouraged along the way, and if you're optimistic, things will always work out. So thank you, Hannah, so much for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations on all your success, and come back on the show anytime. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure, and I would love to come back. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.